Imagine learning 12 facts about erections that are so surprising. A few might change how you think about your body forever. Some will make you smile, some will make you wince, and at least one will make you say, there is no way that is true. I am Dr. Emma Blake, a urology and men's health expert, and I create clear, science-based videos to help you understand your body and protect your health. If you appreciate straightforward, respectful education without gimmicks, you are in the right place. Share this with a friend who needs it, and make sure you subscribe so you never miss what really matters for men's health. Let us start at the very beginning, before birth. Babies can be born with erections. In one study that followed male fetuses at roughly 36 to 39 weeks, ultrasound measurements captured multiple episodes where the penis was clearly erect, lasting anywhere from five to 17 minutes. The exact trigger is not fully understood, but it appears to be part of the developing nervous system testing its circuits. Female fetuses can also have clitoral erections in the womb. In some cases, scans have even caught male fetuses, performing movements that resemble early self-stimulation. It is not sexual in the adult sense. It is the body wiring itself and practicing reflexes long before a child takes a first breath. Here is a myth I hear all the time. The penis is a muscle that you can pump like a biceps. It is not. The penis is made of three cylinders of spongy tissue, the paired corpora cavernosa on top and the corpus spongiosum underneath. During an erection, blood fills the spaces in that spongy tissue and the outflow is briefly restricted, creating firmness and length. You can train the pelvic floor muscles that support erections and ejaculation, but you cannot lift weights with the penis itself because it is not a skeletal muscle. Erections do not only happen when you are awake or aroused. Men of all ages experience nocturnal penile tumescence, commonly called morning erections. These are involuntary erections that occur during phases of rapid eye movement sleep. The average healthy male experiences three to five of these episodes per night. They are believed to help maintain the health of erectile tissue by ensuring regular oxygen-rich blood flow even while you sleep. If you stop having morning erections and nothing else in your life has changed, that can be a useful signal to talk to a clinician about circulation, hormones, sleep quality, or medications. Now for something wonderfully odd from the animal kingdom. Early human ancestors and many mammals, like chimpanzees, have small spines on the penis. Not porcupine spikes, but tiny pointed projections on the surface that create a textured feel. Scientists think these may help displace competing semen in species with many mating partners and may also increase sensitivity, allowing faster ejaculation. Humans lost the genetic switch that creates these spines. The gene region associated with penile spines and whiskers in other mammals is missing in our code. That loss is linked, intriguingly, to changes that supported a larger human brain and may have allowed for more intimacy longer sexual encounters, and more complex pair bonding. In short, we traded spines for bigger brains and richer relationships. Let us settle a very common anxiety. Shoe size and height do not reliably predict erection size. Studies show wide natural variation in penile length within populations, and simple body metrics like height or shoe size do not give accurate forecasts. Genetics plays a role as do health factors. Obesity and smoking can negatively affect penile health and perceived size. One Japanese study did find a correlation between penile length and a different body measure, but it was not shoe size or height. If you are curious about that, I have a longer discussion in another video. But the key point here is simple. Do not judge yourself or anyone else by a shoe box. Here is a liberating truth. Orgasm and erection are related but separate processes. Many people experience orgasm with an erection, but orgasm can occur without one. The pathways for muscle contractions, pleasure perception, and climax can still function even when the penis is not fully erect. 
This is particularly important for men working through erectile dysfunction. Pleasure, intimacy, and climax remain very possible while you are improving erection quality with medical guidance and lifestyle support. Now the part nobody likes to think about, but everyone should understand. You can injure the penis. A penile fracture is a rare but serious emergency that can occur during vigorous sexual activity when an erect penis is forcefully bent. Certain positions, reverse cowgirl is a commonly cited example, can make an errant angle more likely. The classic signs are a sudden popping sound, immediate loss of erection, significant pain, swelling, and sometimes difficulty urinating. Prompt medical care is essential because surgical repair often leads to better long-term outcomes for function and curvature. And yes, there are famous cases. You can look up professional athletes who have spoken about it publicly. You may have heard people say they are growers or showers. That casual language points to a real phenomenon. Some men have a flaccid length that is fairly close to their erect length. Those are the showers. Others have a modest flaccid size that increases substantially with erection. Those are the growers. Elasticity of the tissue, smooth muscle tone, and vascular dynamics all contribute. Neither pattern is better. They are simply different presentations of normal anatomy. Now for a piece of cultural history that borders on unbelievable. John Harvey Kellogg, a physician and health reformer in the late 19th century, promoted a bland diet to reduce sexual desire. He believed spicy, flavorful foods inflamed lust and saw sexual desire as dangerous outside procreation. He helped popularize a very plain breakfast cereal, cornflakes, originally without added sugar, hoping it would dampen libido and discourage masturbation. He also championed extreme hygiene practices, including frequent enemas, based on beliefs that have not stood the test of modern science. Consider that a reminder that medical culture evolves, and not every health idea deserves to be honored with a place at your breakfast table. If you need a reason to quit smoking beyond your lungs and heart, here it is. Smoking damages the delicate blood vessels and nerves that supply the penis. Over time, that can reduce elasticity in erectile tissue and promote scarring, a combination that makes erections weaker and can even shorten the apparent length of the penis. The hopeful side of the story is that quitting, especially if you are younger and have not developed severe erectile dysfunction, can help you preserve normal erections. If appeals about cancer and cardiovascular disease have not moved you, perhaps saving your erection quality will. There is an unsettling phenomenon sometimes observed after death known as a death erection, or historically, angel lust. It is rare and most commonly associated with certain types of death, such as hanging. It is not a sign of arousal. Instead, it appears to result from blood pooling in the pelvic region when muscle tone is lost, combined with specific nerve reflexes. It is anatomy and physics, not desire. Here is a fact that surprises many men the first time they feel it. A significant portion of your erection lives inside your body. The erectile tissue continues from the visible shaft back into the pelvis where it anchors to the pelvic bones and is surrounded by muscles and supporting structures. If you feel the area between the scrotum and the anus, the perineum, during an erection, you may notice fullness or pressure because internal parts of the erectile bodies are engaged. This is also why weight gain over the pubic mound can make the penis look shorter from the outside. The penis did not shrink. Fat in the mons region is simply covering more of the base. Addressing weight, strengthening the pelvic floor, and improving circulation can all help the visible portion appear more like its natural baseline. If you take only one message from all of this, let it be respect for your body's design. Erections are not just an on-off switch. They are a symphony of blood flow, nerve signals, smooth muscle relaxation, hormones, sleep quality, emotional context, and overall health. Morning erections can be a useful barometer for vascular health. Lifestyle choices like quitting smoking, managing weight, staying active, sleeping well, 
and strengthening the pelvic floor genuinely matter. Curiosity about your own anatomy is not vanity. It is wisdom. And if you're ready to take your results from good to exceptional, let's talk about natural support for your performance, stamina, and confidence. I have two supplements that I recommend, and you'll find both links right below this video, in the description and in the pinned comment. For men who want a noticeable lift in erection strength and circulation, I recommend an organic watermelon extract rich in L-citrulline. This isn't a gimmick. It's clinically shown to boost nitric oxide, open blood vessels, and support firmer, longer-lasting performance. It's simple, natural, and something you can feel working within days. But if you're looking for a stronger, more complete upgrade, one that supports not just blood flow, but also testosterone, stamina, and prostate health, then you'll want the Advanced Performance Formula. It's a powerhouse blend of Icarian, Tonkadali, Fenugreek, Nettle Root, and Citrulline, designed to reignite your energy, drive, and endurance from the inside out. These are the same ingredients I discuss with my patients who want to restore confidence, performance, and vitality at any age. Take a look, see which one fits your goals, and start giving your body the support it deserves. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.